have time to interrogate Deathstroke. The police are already on the scene at Lacey Towers. I doubt Black Mask would trust Deathstroke with any useful information. I should follow Penguin's lead and hurry to Lacey Towers. I took from Deathstroke could be useful here. Alfred, get GCPD to take a look at the final offer. More to Dixon Docks. They'll find Slade Wilson tied up and waiting for them, along with some of Penguin's illegally obtained weapons. Uh, another anonymous tip? Will do, sir. Oppressed citizens of Gotham, your cries for help have been heard. I am Anarchy, voice of the people, here to save you from the plague of corruption that now infests this once proud city. Those hired and elected to keep us free and safe won't lift a finger. And why would they? They've been bought and paid for, encouraged to turn a blind eye. If they won't act, I will. At dawn's first light, the sources of Gotham's ruin will be destroyed. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming of propaganda and consumerist garbage. As if there isn't enough going on tonight. I should hurry, Towers, before the cops destroy all the evidence Hello, from the crime scene Penguin mentioned. I was hoping to get a minute of your time. See, I've got a story to tell you. About crime and violence. Greed and vengeance. But it's also a story of redemption. Of second chances. Of change. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. So... I offer you one. Let them detonate, or stop them. Your actions will determine what I do with you. Hey, miss. Over here. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. Whoa, whoa, easy now. I ain't looking for a fight. Got a message, that's all. Anarchy says if you're gonna make a withdrawal, you better do it soon. Let them detonate, or stop them. Your actions will determine what I do with you. Homicide unit, please respond to 187 in the Bowery. Officers on scene report victim appears to have fallen from a nearby building. Once the money's gone, we'll have a new system. A better one. Where everyone's equal. Here's trouble. Let's get on it! They say money makes the world go round. It also makes for excellent shackles. You're tied to your job, your mortgage, your need to buy the next show. Overpriced television seduces you. Imagine what we could accomplish if only someone would set us free. <laughs> Bet to that bell holds a lot of things. You look angry. You want to get warm. We've got a problem. So I saw. 
This anarchy fellow mentioned three bombs, which means two still remain. I need to find them. I've no doubt you will, sir. know the victim fell from a nearby building, but there's not much else in the file. His identity might shed some light on things. Brian Murphy, an account manager at the Gotham Merchants Bank. Cause of death, internal injuries sustained on impact. Now I know what happened. Time to find out how and why. This blood spatter indicates a high velocity impact. I should check the roof. The railing here is broken. Was it an accident or was he pushed? Footprints means the victim wasn't alone, and the scattered paperwork suggests he had a briefcase. I need to find that. sets of fingerprints here. One belongs to the victim, the other to Robert Haynes, a well-known con artist. Alfred, I need the last known location of Robert Haynes. I'll send over everything I've got in case it helps. No need, sir. I already have a search area. Check your display. clients from out of town. Most of them have never set foot inside the bank. All right, but if this goes pear sheet, it's on you. Relax, guy. I've been doing this a long time, and I never make mistakes. What happened to Brian Murphy? We had a deal. 
He gave me the account numbers. I faked being a client and cleared out the account. In exchange, he gets a cut. It's a con I run a hundred times. But then he starts to get nervous, tries to back out. So you threw him off a roof? I couldn't risk a warning the bank. I'll go to the cops. I had to protect my interests. And how'd that work out for you? Oh. Alfred, contact the GCPD and let them know Brian Murphy's killer has been apprehended. Send over the evidence as well. Consider it done, sir. Investigating this crime should have a relay station set up. It'll look like a mobile satellite dish, probably on a rooftop. for a smoke with a menace. Those men on the balcony, that could be my way in. What is shut case? Penguin murdered Black Mask and his lady friend. We found the bastard's stubby little fingerprints right by the body. Yeah, we got Penguin now. I'd like to see him squirm out of this one. Fingerprints, two dead bodies. He's about to do some time. Yeah, except forensics will take all the credit. We got a tango! believe Penguin murdered Black Mask, but why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis, something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend, or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This 
bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height, but the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. These fingerprints are a match for the Penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room, but these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. She was sending text messages to Roman Sianus about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask, but this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here, or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful, non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Come in, 8-2. 
Dispatch, Delta 44. Can you raise Delta 82? Stand by 44. Delta 82. Delta 82, come in. Delta 82, come in. Delta 82, report. Delta 44. No response from 82. Please proceed inside to confirm 82 status. 10 4 dispatch. Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. Sir, a moment of your time. What do you want? There's something about this Enigma fellow that doesn't sit right with me. Unfettered access to resources, an extensive network spread across the city. Whoever he is, the man has connections and capital. We can use that to our advantage. If he's buying things in bulk or using lots of power, we could track him. Perhaps, but he's also clearly a technical wizard. He's likely covered his tracks. Keep searching. He only has to slip up once to give us an opening. Certainly, sir. Well, it sounds like you found some Christmas spirit. But I refuse to let the thugs out there rob us of the night entirely. I'm surprised you didn't put up some decorations. I considered it. But decided it was better not to clutter up the place. Don't worry, though. I've done a number on the house. I'm sure you have. <laughs> 